Can buying an investment property help you pay less tax and get a bigger tax refund from SARS each year? The short answer is yes, it absolutely can. And let's be honest, it's about time we got something back from the tax man. In this video, we discuss some of the major tax benefits available if you choose to buy an investment property. And stick around to the end where we reveal the most powerful tax break that we've ever come across that most investors just don't know about. We've personally made use of it and greatly increased our investment returns. Okay, let's dive right in. As an employee, you have very little control over your relationship with SARS. Your tax obligations are calculated by your employer and automatically deducted from your salary each month. If you want to reduce the amount of tax you pay, your options are pretty much limited. Sure, you can contribute to a retirement annuity or claim certain medical expenditure to get a small tax refund from SARS each year. But there's not a whole lot of other practical tax saving options available. The minute you buy an investment property, however, a whole new world of tax saving opportunities opens up to you. Why is that? Well, when you buy an investment property, you're essentially starting a new business. It's basically the same thing. And with a business, all expenses you incur in operating that business are tax deductible. In the case of investment property, your intention is obviously to use the property to generate income for you in the form of rental income each month. And therefore, any expense you incur in generating that rental income is tax deductible. So what are some of the examples of tax deductible expenses on your property investment business? Well, some of them are interest paid on your bond installment, rates and any other utilities you haven't recovered from the tenant, monthly levies if applicable, insurance, security costs, any repairs and maintenance to the property, agent fees if you use a rental agent, and any bank charges you incur. There are, however, several other expenses you may be able to claim under the right circumstances. Let's discuss a few of them. The first one is entertainment. If you're in another city to attend the AGM of one of your properties and you need to have dinner, this qualifies as a legitimate business expense. Next, subsistence costs. If you own a property out of town and you have a legitimate reason to spend the night, say because you have two property related appointments over two days, you can claim the cost of accommodation and meals for your stay. The next one is traveling costs. Any traveling costs such as fuel and toll fees are deductible, provided the trip is necessary of course. Even the hire of a rental car if required is allowed. An important point to note is that if you have a few properties and you tend to need to do a lot of traveling to run the business, you can claim all the expenses relating to your car including insurance, tires, licensing costs, services, part of the cost of financing the vehicle, and even depreciation. You will, however, need to keep a detailed logbook of all your traveling, and expenses need to be split between business and personal. For example, if 25% of your traveling is business-related, you'll only be able to claim 25% of costs relating to the vehicle. Now, these lists aren't exhaustive. There are other expenses like advertising costs, educational subscriptions, accounting fees, legal costs, or others that you may be able to claim too. You may even be able to claim a whole bunch of home office expenses if you end up doing property investing full time. The most important point to remember, however, is that all expenses claimed must be business related. The official requirement is that a tax deductible expense is one which is incurred in the production of income. In other words, always make sure you can justify that any expense claimed is related to and necessary for the successful operation of your property investment business. So how does all this work in practicality? How do these tax deductible expenses result in you getting a refund from SARS? Well, when you buy an investment property in your own name, you'll be earning a rental income and incurring monthly running costs for this new business. Income less expenses will yield a profit or a loss. You'll also be earning a salary in most cases from a day job. Now when you buy a new property, your monthly running expenses are likely to be higher than your income for a while. In other words, you'll be operating at a loss until your rental income eventually increases enough to cover all your expenses. Until then, you'll be able to claim these operating losses on your tax return and get the benefit of some nice tax refunds. The reason for this is because your employer calculates your tax liability based only on the amount of money they pay you. They don't know about your investment property business unless their calculations do not factor in any profits or losses you may have elsewhere. But when it comes time to submit your tax return, You'll update SARS on all income and deductions for the year across all your business activities. This includes both your salary income and your investment business. And when you make a loss on your property investment business, what this essentially means is that you've paid SARS too much tax. Your employer has deducted too much PAYE from your salary, since your total taxable income on a holistic level is less than they have calculated. 
and because of this, you are refunded some of the tax overpayment each year until the losses on your property business start becoming profits. All you need to do is keep an accurate record of all your expenses and keep all invoices and supporting documents safe. We suggest scanning them in so you have an electronic record on file. Because you'll have a loss from your investment business on your tax return each year, SARS may want to perform an audit to make sure your tax return is correct. This is nothing to worry about, it's very routine. Simply be sure that you can substantiate all expenses you've claimed for by having the source documentation or invoice on hand and sending them all to SARS for verification. Now as promised at the start of the video, let's discuss the most powerful tax break that we've come across in our combined 23 years of property investment experience. Most investors don't even know about this incredible tax benefit that SARS offers. The tax provision is called Section 136. And what it allows for is the tax deduction of 55% of the full purchase price of an apartment purchased over a period of 20 years. And this is massive. It means if you buy a property for 1 million rand, for example, you get to claim 550,000 rand as the tax deduction over the 20 year period. But the rule is that you get to claim 5% of this each year for 20 years. Now there are a few conditions attached to this tax break, but they're quite fair. Let's discuss what they are. In order to claim this tax deduction, the property must be a new and unused property, basically a new development, situated in South Africa, used for investment purposes, and it must be a residential property. You must also own at least five separate units in order to use this tax deduction, although not all units need to meet the criteria mentioned a moment ago. Now, if you happen to be the developer of the building, you aren't limited to the 55% tax deduction, but can claim the entire 100% of the value of the building over a 20 year period. And that is a mind-blowing tax break. Now this tax break may feel a little bit out of reach if you're just starting out, but it's an excellent goal to strive for. And you'll be surprised how fast you can reach your investment goals once you really put a lot of focus and energy into them. Now if you enjoy this content, be sure to check out this video, which breaks down some of our best property investment strategies. See you there, and thanks so much for watching.